Hi, this is Amy Lewis with Pop-Up Tech Talks. I'm here with John Troyer. Can you introduce yourself? I'm, hi, I'm John Troyer. I am the Chief Reckoner for Tech Reckoning. All right, tell me what that means. <laughs> well, I have a little newsletter called the Tech Reckoning Dispatch, and we also work with other vendors in the tech space with this uh, new program called the Influence Marketing Council, which helps them work with community, work with influencers, work with technical evangelists. Excellent. So this is your first StalkerCon. Um, what do you think? I'm actually impressed with the energy here. Uh, we're at a real transition point in the where IT is going, where IT has been. I see a lot of people here that are enterprisey as well as developery. I think Docker has really kind of uh, gotten, still bottled some special sauce about usability and about functionality. And I think now with their new enterprise push, actually, it's making a, it's, it's actually, it makes sense to me. Do you feel like they are bridging the community in some way? Is that why we see this kind of uh, crossroads between communities we've seen in other places and, and work we've seen done different ways? Well, typically the, the word on Docker is that they have nailed the developer experience. And I think that that's true. Now the question is, can they nail the operator experience, which is what the new name for a lot of what we used to call IT, right, is, is now cloud and operations. Uh, so I think, yeah, I think they have that chance to, br to bridge that gap. So what's the most interesting thing you've learned here? The most interesting thing I've learned, actually I love the announcements today, the new, uh, the new Linux kit and the Moby, Moby Mingle they announced, so a lot of real open source innovation. I can finally see how some of the open source pieces come together in a way that um, was not clear to me before. So if you're looking into your crystal ball, I always love, uh, what do you see coming in the future? I don't, I don't know that people saw the energy that DockerCon and Docker would bring coming. What do you think you see in the future? Well, I mean, we're also at a weird point in the startup ecosystem uh, cycle. I think we'll see a lot of companies get bought. I think we'll see a lot of companies go out of business. The, the venture funding is not there. The infrastructure funding is uh, is holding steady. So, I mean, I, I feel, still think technology drives innovation, technology, and is driving business transformation. So there's going to be activity. Um, but I do think we will see some big headlines of some companies going out of business, but I think that's okay. We're in a, it's okay, we'll all still, we'll be around next year and the year after that. Well, it, I know it's interesting, we have some years where we talk about the dot bomb or the great crash, and it doesn't feel like that, it just feels like, I don't know, it feels like we're in the middle of a cycle if I were to pull out my crystal ball. I, I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't disagree. I wouldn't disagree. There'll be some winners and losers. We, we're not quite sure who those are yet. Uh, well, hopefully it's not this show. <laughs> yeah, no, no, absolutely not. Maybe some people who are at the show. There are a lot of vendors here, so which is good, which is healthy for the ecosystem. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thanks for having me on. I will see you next time on Pop-Up Tech Talks.